Hey, what's going on everybody? You got the old Mongo Man out here in the shop tonight. Uh, just got back from dinner with family. And now we are uh, out here working on BOV1. What we're gonna try and get done here tonight is get this bumper completely assembled and tacked together. That way uh, tomorrow we can take it back apart and start welding on it. I got all the pieces and parts back from my man, Allen Feed Mill up in Hickory, Pennsylvania. Feed Mill up there and has a CNC table where he uh, cut out all these bits and pieces for the bumper for me. Did a really nice job on it. So now we're gonna see if I can get all those bits and pieces of bumper on the machine here and get them all to match up. You guys get to uh, hang out with me here tonight and watch me do this. All right, let's get rolling. Huh? everybody it is uh, about 10 30 right now and i am done tonight just loaded the stove up uh i checked to be sure that the wheel will clear the bumper and it 100 percent does so now all that is left is to uh get this thing buttoned up man uh i still got to put the right hand side together i got the driver's side done as you guys saw but we'll do that tomorrow so uh tomorrow's another day but let's take a good look at what we got done here pretty happy with it it actually looks like it belongs on the truck I like the uh, two recovery points there they're a little close together but uh, that's kind of where they ended up because of the brackets behind it and how the bumper is going to or does bolt onto the truck now so as you can see there, all that's left is to uh, button up the right end, and then uh, we'll weld that bad boy completely together. Make it look good. All right, Mongo's garage is out. 
Hey, what's going on everybody? Got the old bongo man out here Saturday morning, just fresh back from church, and we are gonna do some more welding on this bumper. Come along and uh, give us a watch, will you? All right, we got everything tacked up here. I am going to go up to the school to uh, see what Sissy and Cheryl are up to, and then uh, we'll be back. Hey, what's up everybody? Got the old Mongo Man out here. It is Wednesday evening, uh, working on the bumper. KJ's got his red truck backed in here. We found out the air compressor's dead. I need to get a startup capacitor for that, but that's not gonna stop me from working on this bumper tonight because I need to get this bumper done. What you guys haven't seen is I did get the holes cut in it and have the buckets welded in for the left and right hand side lights. So we're going to continue working on that. I got a bunch more grinding to do and we'll see where we get here shortly. All right. I'll be All right, ladies and gentlemen, Wednesday night, nine o'clock time for Mongo to go to the house. I am whooped. I killed not one, not two, but three 8.0 Milwaukee batteries tonight, plus two 5.0s. Uh, and I burn a bunch of rod into this thing. I have no idea what I look like right now. Probably like a raccoon because of all the dust that's in here, but the bumper is almost done. I got to uh, make it warm in here. As you can tell, I didn't start a fire tonight. Uh, I thought the welding rod would give me enough heat, but it didn't. Uh, it's about 45 in here right now. And uh, let's see what I did, huh? <clears throat> so here's a really good look at the outside, laying here on the table. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not without losing a finger. Oh, I can't. Here's the inside of it. Of course, it's upside down right now, but that is uh, what you got on the inside. I wanted to make sure that those wings were on there really well. My big brother told me not to fully weld it on both sides, so I didn't. I did just tack a couple spots here on the back side to be sure that it's not going anywhere. But on those wings, like I said, I wanted to be sure that they weren't going to fall off. The light buckets are in and ground off. That's as good as they're gonna look. So I gotta drill some holes in there so that I can get the lights mounted. Uh, I am going to drill a big hole in the center of these and then weld those recovery hooks to the back side of that bumper. So you can see here how this is a double piece. This is a 3 16 welded to the 3 16 And of course that's the hole for the, for the fair lead. I will tell you this for sure, that uh, if you ever doubted what companies like uh, Ranch Hand and uh, Weston and all those guys that used to build these uh, bumpers, or still do build these bumpers, ask for them or, or try to get out of them, they are 100% worth it. This is a gang of work. Uh, I have started putting this together last weekend, so two nights this week, and I mean hard nights, you know, out here just busting it. Uh, all day Saturday, a little bit Sunday. So this is, uh, this is, this is the real deal here. This is not for the light of heart. Uh, if you don't have decent welding skills and I say decent because I don't have great welding skills, but if you don't have decent welding skills and are willing to grind for hours, don't try this. I would not do it, but, uh, so far I'm pretty happy with what we've got and, uh, come back tomorrow when we grind on the bumper some more. All right, see you later. Hey, what's going on everybody? Got the old Mongo man out here in Mongo's garage on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, boy, we've had quite uh, the day. So first it started off, of course, we went into town, got things squared away for the new building and 
Uh, KJ stayed here or came back, uh, did what he had to, did some work here to the red truck. And I went and got a new air compressor because our air compressor died and it needed a new motor uh, for half the cost, or I'm sorry, uh, for double the cost of a new motor, I bought a whole new air compressor. So I have a brand new compressor now, a nice Quincy over here in the corner. Works really good. So now with all that taken care of, I didn't get anything done to the bumper today, which uh, I wanted to get done and uh, wrap this video up so that you guys would see the finished product. But unfortunately that's not gonna be the case. Uh, but what I will do is we'll go over everything that I did to it in the last week. So as you can see, this side of the bumper over here looks really nice and that's because it is done. Uh, this has been all ground off and is uh, ready for sanding so that we can get it into some uh, some primer. I'm gonna do some etching primer on that bad boy. But uh, you can see there how the corner works out, the wing on this side, the light mount, the hole and everything. All of the edges have been cleaned up all the way around. Everything looks nice. So that's what the whole bumper is gonna look like. But as of right now, it is still covered in mill scale. That's all gonna be taken off and then cleaned up. You can see here the, uh, the bluing that comes through from welding on the back side of this. Uh, that is a corrosion. It's the reaction that the metal has with the oxygen in the air uh, is what creates these multiple colors. You can see the different colors through it. So that's where the bumper is currently. I still have some work to do here. A couple areas are gonna need filled yet, like this little section right here. Gotta get some more weld in there so I can square this edge off, make it look good. Uh, the edges of this light hole need to be squared off and cleaned up, ground, uh, or, or uh, not ground, but filed accordingly. These holes are gonna be cleaned up. And I still need to drill, drill those holes where the uh, recovery points are gonna be so I can get but that's it. Uh, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, come back soon. Check out what else we're into. As you can see, we got this old Ford pickup here KJ's working on and uh, I'm hoping pretty soon you're gonna see some more crazy stuff going on here in the shop. All right, talk to you guys later. Mongo's out.